know any more news at all whether uh, there's been an update on Salman Rushdie's um, uh, condition, um, but uh, it's a terribly shocking event to have happened, isn't it? Yeah, it's a horrible attack on Salman Rushdie, but it's also an attack on free speech, which is what this uh, institute was celebrating by, by having him. Uh, he's been under a fatwa or a, or a, or a death decree from uh, the Iranian uh, theocracy for the last 30, 40 years or so. Uh, and just a, a year or so ago, the uh, supreme leader of Iran was asked whether they were softening their approach on that fatwa that had been listed uh, against him, and they affirmed that it was still in effect. So millions of dollars in hit money were still hanging out there for someone willing to kill this man for uh, speaking and writing a, a book called Satanic Verses that some in the Muslim community thought was a, an a, a assault uh, verbally and, and uh, in writing against uh, Muhammad. Uh, so this was still in effect. So at a time that the U.S. is trying to soften relations with Iran, it's clear their relations in terms of, of proceeding against this man uh, had not softened at all. Do many people in the States know who Salman Rushdie is, Steve? I think they're learning. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of attention to him since uh, you know the late 90s when, when he was uh, in the news a lot. But he's been speaking. He's been a proponent of free speech. And I think, again, people are getting a refresh of, uh, of what this means. And and the threat that uh, had been you know, laying, hanging over his head for a long time. And it's interesting because uh, we're learning from the investigators that there had been requests for more security uh, for him, and the, the, uh, the institution had decided not to do that because they didn't want a barrier between the uh, attendees and the, and the speakers, the guests. They thought that would kind of chill the whole approach of free speech that they were promoting. And unfortunately for Mr. Rushday, uh, there was no barrier between the audience and, uh, and him. Yeah, and it just shows the power of that fatwa still enduring, the, given that the, uh, the suspect uh, is 24 years old. He wasn't even born when Satanic Verses was written. Yeah, and I think he'd been born in California, but had uh, not long ago moved to, to New Jersey. This attack actually happened in sort of a rural part of New York, about uh, an hour outside of Buffalo, New York. So it wasn't in New York City. I think people think of New York sometimes and, and they think, oh, it's New York City. This was actually at an institute that is far removed from New York City. Uh, but this individual was able to get a pass to the event and then uh, launch this attack on, uh, on Mr. Rushdie. What, what's even more bizarre is that uh, you know, the, the authorities investigating it, the FBI, the state troopers in New York, uh, initially were saying they had no idea about motive. And it's like, guys, um, he was under a death sentence from the Iranian theocracy. How do, what do you mean there's no idea of what the motive might have been? I mean, a fatwa.